Nestled on Market Street beneath the San Francisco skyline and guarded by high fences is a mysterious building that had Bay Curious listener Spencer Barton wondering... What is the big concrete barbed wire encased building behind the Safeway on Market Street? It's pretty odd looking, you know. It doesn't seem like anybody ever enters or leaves. It's sort of like, I don't know, it's like a castle on the hill or something. I've actually wondered the exact same thing. And it turns out many San Franciscans aren't quite sure what this building is. I have no idea, actually. Um, I thought it was some kind of defense facility. It looks like some sort of court. It kind of looks like a prison. Very fortress-like. They used to make money there. Secretive governmental kind of things. But I think it's a museum now. So um, do you want to know the short answer to what it is? Sure. Let's hear the short answer. OK, so drum roll. It is a US mint. Hmm. That's pretty wild. <laughs> do they uh, do they still make money there? It's like a very weird place for a mint. That's exactly what I am now working on answering. The San Francisco Mint is definitely not open to the public. But after making a few calls and passing a thorough background check, I was able to set up a tour through the U.S. Mint headquarters in D.C. My visitor's pass right there. Escort required, it says. But let's back up a minute. The Mint at San Francisco, newest of Uncle Sam's three coinage plants. Before going inside, I did some research to figure out why, of all places, the U.S. Mint ended up here, in the heart of San Francisco, next to a Safeway. The new United States Mint is a building of modernistic lines, a distinctive structure appropriate for its purpose. In its well-guarded vaults are stored millions in gold bullion and silver bars. This building opened in 1937, but it's actually the third mint building in San Francisco. It all started with the gold rush. Of the eight total mint locations in the United States since 1792, most of them were started because they were near mining areas where gold and or silver was being mined in large quantities, and the mint was required to have a place not too far away for the precious metal to be processed, turned into coins. And that's the reason the San Francisco Mint was first established in 1854. The first building was called the Branch Mint, and it was located, appropriately, on Commercial Street in the Financial District. The Mint was only in that building for about 20 years. After a major silver discovery in Nevada, they needed more space. The second building, known as the Old Mint, or the Granite Lady, opened downtown on Fifth Street in 1874. It operated as a mint for 63 years, spanning the 1906 earthquake, when it was instrumental as the financial heart of the rebuilding city. Literally, every bank in the city was destroyed or at least made unusable, or their vaults could not be opened. And the mint, the old mint, came to serve as a repository for disaster relief funds that were sent from all parts of the country and even from some foreign countries. And it also served as a clearinghouse bank, meaning it did basic banking functions and the public was invited to come to the Mint to do their banking. The old Mint is listed as a National Historic Landmark. Now it's only used as an event space. You can get married there. That brings us to today and our tour of the current San Francisco Mint building. Things have changed in the decades since this building opened its doors. They're not smelting metals anymore, but they are still making coins. It's a complicated, multi-step process that starts in the first stop of our tour, coining. Here, unfinished disks of metal are prepped, heated, cleaned, and polished until shiny blanks emerge, ready to be stamped into coins. The second room in the tour is the die polishing room, where all of the dies, the things that stamp those blanks, are meticulously prepared. All dies in this room are given the special San Francisco S mint mark, a label that all coins have that specifies where they were minted. With the dies and blanks prepped and ready, the third stop on the tour is where the two meet the press room. Here, 18 
industrial presses are simultaneously cranking out coins of all denominations. One by one, blanks are fed into the press, and both sides of the coin are stamped at the same time with somewhere between 54 and 110 metric tons of pressure. Finally, all of the coins are packaged by a series of robotic arms into sets. Because today, all the coins produced at the San Francisco Mint are collectible coins or commemorative medals. These collector sets are packed, boxed, and sold on the U.S. Mint website. Today, most coins in circulation are minted in Philadelphia or Denver. The San Francisco Mint stopped producing circulation coins in 1974. But if you pull out your change jar and start digging, it's still possible to find the rare penny that was made here in the San Francisco Mint right off Market Street. Just look for that special S mint mark 